Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, I'm going over the three best knots for fishing. Well, they're my three best knots for fishing. They're really strong and they're really simple. So stick around. Today, I'm gonna show you the three strongest, simplest knots for any type of fishing because you don't wanna get that big fish on and lose it because of a weak knot. And to make it simpler so you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna use a big hook and I'm gonna use some paracord. Cause if you wanna catch man sized fish, you need a man sized hook. So let's get right into this. Fishing knot number one. The knotless knot. On this first knot, I'm using a piece of paracord instead of fishing line so you can see it easier. And I'm using a shark hook otherwise known as a man size hook. Now you take your leader line, AKA my paracord, and you run it through the eye of your hook. You run it down the shank about an inch and a half. You start the eye of the hook and you wrap down. I like to wrap it at least seven times. Once you get to the bottom, hold it all tight and run the other end of your leader back through the eye of your hook. Then you cinch it all up tight. And once you get it tight, it won't come back apart. Then you can clip off the tag end at the bottom of the hook. And when you're through, you got a knotless knot. This is my favorite way to snail a hook because it's simple, it's reliable, there's no harsh bends in your line, so your line doesn't get weak and it's not gonna break easy. Here's an example of how to tie it on a real hook and it's really simple to tie, really strong too. Fishing knot number two, the Palomar knot. Now the next knot we're tying is a Palomar knot. The Palomar knot's one of my favorite knots to tie. It has a 96% knot strength. Most people will tell you to make a loop in your line and stick it through the eye, but you can stick your line through the eye and then bring the end of that line back through the same way it came in and you'll have that loop. But once you get your loop made, you just tie it in a knot like you're tying your shoes. You'll have a little hoop on the end. Then you stick your hook or your lure or whatever you're tying on back through that loop and you cinch it all down. Something that's important to remember before you cinch any knot down completely, lubricate it. You can spit on it, you can stick it in the water, just lubricate it because if you don't, any monofilament type line does not react good to heat. So when you pull it down tight, it can stretch it which will make your line weak. The Palomar knot, like I said, is one of my favorite knots for smaller stuff because I got big fingers and bad eyes, but it also works great for bigger stuff. And it's a lot easier to tie, especially if it's dark outside. If you haven't been on my channel before, Normally, I make things, you know, DIYs. Well, fishing knots are DIYs too, but if you like making things like I do, go check out some of my other videos. And if you like them, click subscribe. And if you don't, don't click subscribe. We're trying to keep this thing a very elite private club with very few members, so don't click subscribe if you don't like it. Click subscribe, people. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? Fishing knot number three. The fisherman's knot or the clinch knot. Now this knot will work in situations where the Palomar knot won't work. And it's called a clinch knot. When I grew up, we called it a fisherman's knot. It's the same thing. It also has a 96% knot strength, just like the Palomar knot. On a fisherman's knot, you want to run the end of the line through your hook. I like to run it through twice like a Palomar knot and make a hoop. Then you twist it down your line at least five times. Bring the end of your line back through that loop and cinch it all down. And like I said on the Palomar knot, before you cinch it, make sure you lubricate it. The fisherman's knot works good when you got a tie knot and you can't get your hook or your lure back through the hoop. That's when I'll use the fisherman's knot. The clinch knot or the fisherman's knot is probably the knot that I've used the very longest. I think I've been tying it since I was a teenager because that was the first strong knot you learned when I was young and it still works great. There's a few other good knots out there that you might need to know fishing, but these three knots you can use 98% of the time and that's all you'll need to know.
Now here's an example of a snailed hook that I used a knotless knot on and I've been using it for a while. They just don't come back loose. It's a really cool strong knot. Those right there really are the knots I use the most. And they're really strong. They've never let me down. If you like the video, click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, then I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. Click subscribe, people. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? And as always, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you on the next build.